People in business tend to accept that sometimes the best way of doing things is on a committee. But for some of us, being on a committee is like being on pr in prison. There was a man at a Rotary Club that I used to be a member of who was obsessed with committee meetings. And one year, he organised for the new office bearers a weekend away, not only for our club, but for all the clubs in the area. He took us to an old army base outside of town and on the first morning he'd arranged speakers every half hour. And I was listening to a speaker called What's in the Secretary's Bag when all of a sudden my mind left the room. I've used this technique many times over the years and as I got older I started to worry that people may see my lips moving to imaginary conversations. But looking around committee meetings, I realised that there were other people there with blank expressions and the lips moving. I used it at home. I, my wife and four children at meals, it's, it was like bedlam. They used to think I was deaf because it would take me two or three times to respond to any, uh, any request. A few years after that, I had a general medical examination. And to my surprise, my hearing was found to be a1. And I told the nurse that people at home thought that I was deaf. She asked me, have you ever been in Rotary? Apparently it's a recognised syndrome, post-Rotary Committee Traumatic Stress Disorder, PRCTSD. It's like an alcoholic blackout. There are people in Rotary who have the same meeting every week, discuss the same things and make the same resolutions. It's a bit like Groundhog Day. When anybody asks me now to be on a committee, especially to be the secretary, I start to cry. I find that works very well.